Magic Boy, also known as Shonen Sharatobi Sosuke. Second film, now we're on widescreen. With a longer screen, we get to appreciate the lavish background designs much more. Not only that, we have more animals, more action, and focus than before. Unlike the last film, the conflict begins within the first 10 minutes. The story is based on a Japanese fable, one of Saratobi Sasuke. In this instance, his hero's journey against an evil old witch, unleashed from a giant salamander-like fish. Animator Yasao Otsuka returns with another catfish-like cut. Unsatisfied by his work in the last film, he bought an actual catfish to study, and the results are fantastic. He'd later use these skills again in Holes for one of its most iconic scenes. After the success of Yasuji Mori's animal characters in the last film, we see his grand return with even more animals to animate with. Too many, in fact. There are times where it feels as they just need to fill about 5 or 10 minutes, so they just let him go wild. This might be the case. The executives at Toei interfered in the story writing process, leaving the film more of a simple good versus evil narrative, which could be its biggest downfall. It doesn't have the weirder qualities of White Serpent. Magic Boy's designs are more Japanese painted this time, but less expressive. There's an increase of crude looking characters with the bandits. They feel like Hanna-Barbera rejects. The co-director Daikuhara was responsible for these, and I'm sorry man, I'm, I'm just not feeling them. Daikuhara's animation on the other hand is much more bouncy, as if it was made of rubber which leads to some really expressive moments. On the other hand, I must say the flying action scenes lack weight. They're much more floaty without momentum, and sometimes the action does feel like it's in slow motion. The more I look into the film, you can see that Sasuke, the main character, is an irresponsible child. Instead of waiting until he's a bit older, he abandons his sister on a whim to go off in the mountains to find some weird hermit and become a magical ninja. This choice ends in his sister losing everything and being kidnapped. Even after all the events have finished, he leaves her again. Your sister is homeless. Do something about it, you magical ninja boy. Do I recommend Surotobi Sasuke? Maybe if you're a completionist. It's not a bad film. It doesn't have the values of Toei's first, but it doesn't stretch as high either. At least Atsuka brings a comedic like Skelly for its finale. Pretty cool. It feels more like a stepping stone than a milestone, which isn't something I could say for tomorrow's film.